All right, everybody. So this is the engine that's currently in it. And I bought this one. Got up on the engine stand, gonna tear it down, send it off to the machine shop, make sure everything's okay. I'm worried about that hole having a, or that piston having a hole in it. And then same thing for that. I'm worried about that. So I'm gonna get this thing torn down and we're gonna see how it looks like even when we, let's see, turn this around, put the phone down real quick. And we look at underneath of it, it looks good. Definitely dirty. Like here's the one with the hole in it. Everything looks to be okay. Same thing for this side. But we'll see when we actually go and take it apart. It spins freely and everything. But yeah, we'll see what the machine shop says once I get it all apart. So, all right, let's get this done. All right, I got everything disassembled. This is a cylinder that had the piston have a hole in it. Doesn't look too bad. Neither really does these other ones too much. But we'll see what the machine shop says. Here's the other one. Doesn't look too bad. And there, maybe up here, they're gonna have to do something with. But we'll see. Let me take this off. But the cylinders don't look too bad on it. So hopefully it's salvageable and I'll be able to use it. If not, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. But I'm gonna get these lifters out, and the next thing I'll grab and get the uh, cam out and see how that thing looks. Okay, so on this block here, uh, this is the non-roller one, and I was not able to get um, the lifters out or the camshaft out. I don't know why. Uh, I also don't have the right tool to do it, so I wasn't gonna sit here and pull that out and really ruin anything and ruin the cam or ruin the lifters or nothing but it was also a non-roller block and I wanted a roller block which you're gonna see here and this is the new one that I bought to replace that non-roller one so this is the new plan that I'm going to go with all right guys so here's another block apparently this one's going to be uh, a 331 and this one is a uh, hydraulic roller one, which is what I wanted. The other block was a non-roller block, so then this one is going to be a lot better. Already has the pistons and everything I need, steel crank, uh, SFI harmonic balancer, like everything that I need is going to be done to this, and it's going to be good. So I'm going to take this apart, send it off to the machine shop, and see how this one's going to go. And grab my other one that I had that I took the other day and just start upgrading on this one then because this one's going to be a lot better so all right let's get this done and take it out of the machine shop and see what happens so I got everything apart and everything looks good underneath here it has srp pistons on it I'm going to look up the part number and see if it comes in the kit looks like arp uh rods bolts are on there and everything so i'm gonna go ahead get this off the engine stand get into my car and i'm gonna take it down to uh apple machining and then see what they say because this is gonna save me a lot of time and money for everything and it's, it's gonna be a good time and hopefully i can get this done all right all right so i did not take the harmonic balancer off or the timing cover or anything that off or the crank or any of that off like I said I was going to because I did not have the harmonic balancer pulley and since I live far away from anything and I didn't want to waste the machine shop's time I didn't go and get one to bring it back I can see right there it's still on it um, but I did get the water pump off and everything and like 
it's just it's just how it is. They're not really charging me for anything else. Is there's nothing changes, but yep, this is how it's gonna be going there. All right, so I dropped the uh, the block off at the machine shop, and it's looking promising for the new block that I got. It's gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be uh, saving me a lot of money in the long run of what I need to do. And I'm so happy for this machine shop. Like they're not here to uh, make a buck off you and screw you over. They're, they're awesome people. And the guy in there always helps me out and like breaks everything down for me. It's Apple Machine Shop here in Yorktown, uh, Virginia. And they've been super helpful with all this. Like it's my first like actual engine build, build to compete seriously and make some actual power and be reliable for everything and they just been helpful the entire step of the way they're gonna be able to get parts for me um get everything that needs to be done make sure it's done the right way and everything so it's awesome so i dropped it off like i said and i'll know in a few weeks exactly what's going to be in the engine and what I'm gonna need for heads and everything because I have some push rods and there's already lifters in that block and all that stuff as you saw. So, all right, this will be the last video for this and the next one will probably be me picking up the block and knowing what's going on with it and make sure everything's okay. So, stay tuned.